Before I start this video, I just wanted to say that you can now download my videos for free as podcasts on the likes of Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, Deezer, Radio Public and Radio.com. Check out the links in the description below to find out more. Martin Scorsese's The Irishman is a film that spent years in development. The gangster movie starring Al Pacino, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci is based on the best-selling non-fiction crime novel I Heard You Paint Houses by Charles Brandt. Telling the tale of hitman and union truck driver Frank Sheeran, and his relationship with mob boss Russell Buffalino and Teamsters union leader Jimmy Hoffa. Even before Scorsese decided to go with the very expensive idea of de-aging his actors using CGI so they would better suit the roles they were playing, he struggled to get the financing to make his vision for the film come to life. De Niro spoke about the movie as early as 2007, mentioning that he and Scorsese had decided that their next picture would be an adaption of I Heard You Paint Houses, and that Al Pacino and Joe Pesci would be in the film. As a huge gangster movie fan, this news practically blew my mind, and I've been following the project ever since. It's crazy to think that even before the de-aging decision was made, Scorsese couldn't get the money to make a gangster movie, and one that would star all these great actors in the same film for the first and only time. But that's the state of modern Hollywood, I guess. Now, as many fans of the film will know, in 2013, a historic script reading of the film took place where, in addition to other actors, De Niro, Pacino and Pesci sat down at a table with the script for The Irishman and did a reading. Among many other awesome things about this, it was confirmation that Pacino and Pesci really were seriously interested in this project, and it wasn't just a case of De Niro simply drumming up hype and false hope whenever he spoke about the film in interviews over years, which he did numerous times. What many of us didn't know though, was that this script reading was done at a time when the producers were still looking for people to pay for the film, and one of the primary reasons of the script reading in the first place, in which potential investors were invited, was actually to get people interested in the project, and to hopefully have one of the people invited to come along and say, yes, this is a film I'd like to finance and get made. I remember an interview with one of the Irishman's producers, I can't remember who it was, I think it might have been Jane Rosenthal, where she spoke about this script reading and how mesmerising it was, to see all these great actors sitting side by side and saying their lines to each other. It was recorded, a lot of people showed up, but she did concede though, that this script reading was most likely the most we'd ever see of the Irishman project, as due to a number of reasons, the main one being a lack of funding, she didn't think the film was going to ever get made. It would go on to face a whole heap of problems on top of the ones they already had in 2013, but fast forward to present day, and the Irishman was a huge success, one of the most critically acclaimed films of the year, and accumulating 10 Oscar nominations, including one for Scorsese, making him the most Oscar-nominated living film director. Anyway, this script reading, I mentioned that it was recorded, and Netflix have actually released a three minute or so extract of it, with De Niro, Pacino and Pesci delivering some of their lines, and then clips of the film to show us how it all actually ended up in the final movie. I'm not going to post the video, obviously, I could get banned from YouTube for that, but at the time of making this video, the script reading is unlisted on Netflix's YouTube channel, meaning it's essentially private and can only be accessed by those who have the link to it. At the moment, Deadline have exclusive access to the script reading, so if you head over to their website, you should be able to find it. I'm sure Netflix will release it fully to the public soon. They probably have done so by now. Watching the script reading is really cool. It's just fascinating watching these men work their craft. For the most part, it makes you appreciate the acting talents of the actors and Scorsese's directorial ability, because it really is just reading. There's not a lot of emotion put into the lines from the actors. And then when they show the actual footage from the film, you think, wow, these guys are just so talented. It's so different. There's so much life, character and emotion in their performances in the final film. It just shows that Pacino and De Niro these two actors who have been sleepwalking through their movies for so many years, when they're given something great to work with, they can really bring their A-game. The essence of their characters are still being cultivated, but with the guys sitting there and reading from the script, it's like the producer said in the interview, you can really feel there's something there, there's something special in the air in that room. Pesci looks kinda bored, and yet 
you can get a sense of his character's menace just from his trademark voice alone. Al Pacino looks really into it, like he's really pumped with the project. And look at Scorsese next to him, all giddy with delight when Pacino delivers his lines. He wanted to work with him for decades. He wanted to make a movie about a painter with him. He wanted him to play Jimmy Conway in Goodfellas. And Pacino was the number one pick for Frank Costello in The Departed. And now, finally, Scorsese was sitting next to Pacino, with the actor looking primed and ready for this film, if it ever got made. Which, of course, it did. And it landed Pacino an Academy Award nomination. You can see the script reading on Deadline's website. Thanks for watching.